Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 24th, 2020. So yesterday we had some news out in the afternoon that really inspired the market. Um, apparently, um, the Biden um, presidency will be uh, putting Janet Yellen in charge of the Treasury. That seemed to be or catch a pretty good celebration um, in the market yesterday afternoon, rallying up, particularly the diamonds and IWM. Um, we struggled a little bit in the SPY and the NASDAQ, but some bullishness um, certainly ensued. And then last night we got news that um, President Trump has begun the transition of, of power um, at the White House, still vows to continue to fight and legal challenges and the, those kind of things. But I believe it was the right thing to do to um, uh, to relieve that pressure and, and allow that possible peaceful trans transition of power to begin. And so the market is celebrating wildly this morning, and I mean wildly. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, we have the U.S. futures just surging in an unbelievable push in uh, uh, an apparent celebration of the transition um, in the White House um, underway. So pretty interesting situation. So let's try to remove all the emotion from this and let's think clearly about what's going on in this market. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. Now the diamonds holding on to some key levels of support. And I know it's really easy on a moment or on a morning like this to get yourself all cranked up and feel that need to chase, um, race in and chase. But let's think clearly here. We have a holiday shutdown just around the corner. We have a market pushing up towards some resistance highs that we've struggled with for the last um, about three weeks. We have struggled with these resistance highs up here. So although this is a very, very bullish move this morning, it might be wise to be thinking about the resistance here, the holiday shutdown, and thinking about this gap up as a gift and that opportunity to maybe take some profits heading into the holiday. So think about that carefully. Remember, we are quite extended in this market. And although I do believe institutions are not going to fail on their attempt to get that 30,000 headline um, um, here, we also want to remember that big round numbers like that can be a natural resistance in the market. We can bang into that resistance and then pull back hard from there. And we may see that profit taking wave um, occur or begin somewhere around that level. Let's also not forget that we have just had the, over the last 24 hours a blizzard of more of new COVID related restrictions being placed um, or in states around the country um, that will impact business. So just kind of keep those things in mind. We want to be careful not to chase into this move when we're reaching these high levels in the chart. Now that said, um, indexes remain bullish. The, the, the bulls are definitely in control. However, we still remain quite extended in this market. And we'll take a look at T2122 here in just a little, uh, just a bit. But we re remain quite extended in, um, in this market, as you can see, very far away from our 50-day moving average, which adds a significant level of danger. And remember, anytime we gap like this, we have that possibility, particularly when we're gapping into price resistance, we have that possibility that profit takers start coming in and taking advantage of that. Also, just kind of keep in the back of your mind here that um, as we um, run toward the holiday, 
a lot of the trading floors, a lot of traders will be heading out for um, holiday plans. So keep in mind that we may find it difficult to maintain the bullish momentum today that we're starting this morning out with. Once again, that kind of leans toward that idea that it may be wise to reduce some risk by taking some profits. Something to think about anyway um, when you're planning your day. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY wasn't nearly as bullish yesterday as we saw in um, the Dow and IWM. And as you can see, a little, quite a little back and forth in here. And although we're gapping up this morning, notice that this candle, we gapped up first thing early this morning, and now we're showing a little bit of a pullback in that. Not quite as bullishness as we once were. Let's take a look right here that that happens to be that little bit of a downtrend. We have a high, a lower high, and that possibility of a another lower high could be coming in this morning if those profit takers uh, come in and we kind of lose out on some of this momentum this morning. Let's also notice that we're holding on to some key levels of price support. So a bit of a pennant type pattern in here on that chart. We're still very, very far ahead of our 50-day moving average. So just kind of weigh those things very carefully here um, as you plan your day forward. I don't want to suggest bearishness, but I also don't want to give the impression that we should just chase or rush into this gap up open this morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ actually saw a little bit of suffering yesterday with some of the big techs actually finding some sellers. So I've mentioned this before that we have this issue, this problem right here of this potential downtrend, and we continue to struggle with that. We tried yesterday to push through. Notice that this morning, the NASDAQ is not enjoying the same gap up open that we're seeing in the diamonds in IWM or SPY. So we could still be seeing this little bit of rotation out of tech toward those um, um, consumer staple type plays, value plays in the market. So watch that closely. If you're a tech trader, um, this is starting to just be a, a little bit concerning if we were to push on down. We're not following the rest of the indexes. So watch that closely and be very careful. If we get a tech sell off here, it could actually start pulling on those other indexes as well, dragging them a little bit lower. However, if we can break that uh, little downtrend to the upside, if we can get those bulls to push on through and hold up here, then we may just enjoy that next wave rally to the upside here on the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, by far the strongest of the indexes right now. Blue sky above, massive breakout here, showing lots of bullishness, stretching on out today. Now, when I say stretching on out today, I really do mean stretching on out. We may be a little bit too far stretched away. We may be kind of getting ahead of ourselves and a pullback or a profit taking wave could begin at any time. So you're going to want to be careful chasing this to the upside. Watch that pretty closely um, overall. We're still a long ways away from our 50-day moving average. And, and the more we extend, the more parabolic this starts to become. And you want to be really careful chasing into that move. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX yesterday finally got a little bit of a pullback, but notice that we just can't seem to break down this barrier of that 500-day moving average. Just can't seem to get down through there. So I think we're still very, very bullish here. We're still holding 22 handles here in the VIX, which seems odd when we're just right at the cusp of breaking new record highs in the Dow, and we are breaking new record highs in IWM, but it just seems remarkable that we're holding a 20, uh, 20 plus handle here in the VIX. So be really careful that we're still quite news driven, and um, don't be surprised. Don't be at all surprised. If we see a little profit taking, a little lack of momentum beginning today as traders head out um, for their holiday plans and start to see this settle back a little bit. Don't be surprised by that. Be prepared. Let's take a look at the uh, T21. 
22 indicator. And I got to tell you, this one's going to be a concern here this morning for me. Notice we were already very elevated. This morning's gap up open could push us into this extreme area up here of um, over elevation and you can see when we reach up into these areas we typically find some sellers and pulling back now we have held up here for a long long time um, for t21 22 it's pretty rare that we see a t21 remain so elevated for so long so just keep in mind at any point in time those profit takers could come in and heading into a holiday may be just the, the, the impetus needed to start uh, kicking over um, that profit-taking move. So watch that close. Be very careful about rushing or chasing already extended stocks. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to pay attention to. And, of course, for Pete's sake... I don't have it up. So give me just a second. Let's get that economic calendar up so that we can take a look at it. Um, we have Case Shiller housing prices this morning. Uh, could move the market around a little bit. We have consumer confidence. That's expected to hold in there pretty nicely. So that may not hurt us much at all. And then uh, notice that we have a significant number of Fed speak out there. So watch that carefully. I doubt we learn anything new, but we'll want to pay attention to that um, um, as they're out there. And then remember to be prepared because tomorrow we get just a huge deluge of um, economic data and this economic data has that potential to really swing things so be careful here and watch that closely now it's possible enough traders will have left the floors and everybody is off to their holiday plans that even if those events are bad nobody's gonna everybody ignores it i don't know but watch that closely it's got we got a big big day on wednesday of data and that could move us around significantly. And with volumes likely to be significantly lower, that could have some major impact. So consider that as well as you're planning um, into the rest of the day. Now, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have a pretty good shot of earnings today with a big focus on um, retail today. So let's take a look at some of those that are reporting. Um, Abercrombie will be reporting today and look at uh, looks like it is moving higher this morning, sharply higher this morning. That's the pre-market candle. You can see this has been extremely bullish and retail has been holding up extremely well. Here's another one of those signs to just be really careful. Look how many days in a row we are up here. The likely next move is for a pullback. So watch that closely in the chart. We have Best Buy will be reporting today. It looks like they have disappointed maybe this morning. And we run that risk of this possible triple top high here in uh, Best Buy. Kind of an ugly candle showing up there, so be kind of careful. We have Dick's Sporting Goods that will be reporting. Keep an eye on that. We've got GPS, the Gap Stores will be reporting today. Looks like it's moving higher this morning. Dollar Tree um, will be reporting today. Looks like it is moving higher this morning. Keep a close eye on that. This has a nice little upside trend in play, We're trying to break through some resistance. That popped this morning. We could be right back up here testing uh, these all-time highs in, in, well, that's not all-time highs, these resistance highs in Dollar Tree in that chart. So watch that closely. We're going to have Nordstrom's JWN, um, JWM reporting today. Nordstrom's, um, whoops, I think it is JWN. I typed it wrong in the blog. JWN will be reporting today. Um, that has also just seen a, a remarkable run up. I'm not exactly sure what's warranted such big spiking moves here in these charts, but let's keep in mind that as we do that, we're um, becoming a bit parabolic in these moves and profit taking could begin at any time. We also have AEO on the calendar for today and it's also spiking up this morning with lots of bullishness um, and i'm not going to cover everything a few other charts that you might want to be uh, making note of adsk uh, one of our bigger tech stocks that will be reporting today we have hpq also reporting today 
something to pay attention to. A few of um, um, consumer defensive um, will be on the list today. Hormel looks like they're gapping or moving substantially lower this morning after Hormel's report um, moving down and um, SJM, um, JM Smucker, um, also reporting today. So keep an eye on that. Last but not least, VMW is on that list. So a lot of things. And if you want to see the full list of potential notables, you might want to uh, click the link just right underneath the title of this video, and that will take you back to the morning blog. And you can take a look at those charts that I've um, put up as notable uh, potential reports. Now, with that said, how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos on YouTube, if you could please click that subscribe button and also click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I got to tell you guys, it's incredibly humbling to know that while well, we're approaching 16,000 subscribers, I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined there'd have been that many folks out there looking for this kind of content. But I want to say thank you to everyone. I, it's one of those things that I am truly thankful for that we have such a great community of folks uh, supporting um, the channel and um, you guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you could do me a favor, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief, leaving brief comments, and then sharing this video out there, we'll continue that growth. And I want to say once again, thank you so much. You humble me every day with these kind words. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And I, I created some alerts yesterday. There's a few things a bit um, overly stretched. And I, I would caution to be careful not to chase some of these. But um, I got to tell you, I've been enjoying some really nice profits in some of these trades. Take a look at FCX. I'm currently holding a covered position in FCX and just really enjoying this move to the upside. It's gapping up again this morning. Now, I got to tell you, there because we are so stretched out in this market, I think there is a possibility, um, a high possibility that I may be taking some profits on some of these trades today, although there is nothing wrong with these charts. As a matter of fact, they are raging bulls right now. There's nothing wrong with them. I think it would be wise heading into the holiday to capture some gains. Remember, those profits are not yours until you take those take those profits and tuck them away in your account. And I think that may be one of those things I might be doing here on FCX today. So watch that carefully, but this is a very bullish chart. SCCO, um, I've been mentioning copper for a while as being very, very strong, and it may continues to maintain that strength, showing lots and lots of bullishness. You can see where we alerted here in that chart and just tremendous bullishness showing up here in uh, copper. I've also uh, mentioned how um, other metals such as Alcoa have been incredibly strong. And look at this run in Alcoa, just truly remarkable and parabolic. And as we push up here toward this price resistance level, be really, really careful. If you guys are holding this trade, consider taking some profits or be really, really watchful of this for that potential pullback um, in the chart. But if we pull back, rest or consolidate, could set up a more upside opportunity in these trades. Take a look at US Steel. U.S. Steel from the alert here, beautiful upside move following through this morning. This continues to be a great looking chart. I still think, I, I didn't buy this yesterday with the idea that this may still rest and pull back with the wild bullishness this morning, pushing it on up. So I'm not in this trade. I'm gonna have to wait for the next entry into this position now. Don't chase this, but watch this chart closely. U.S. Steel, Cleveland Cliffs, um, um, all showing um, remarkable bullishness um, in the charts, just tremendous bullishness. With that in mind, you also want to be taking a look at, um, maybe you want to pick up a basket of things. Take a look at the ETF XLY, these consumer discretionary, consumer staple type stocks right now are doing extremely well. And if you wanted to pick up a basket, I placed an alert here, as you can see on XLY yesterday, it actually triggered that alert yesterday and is moving on higher this morning. Take a look at that 
that pretty strong move this might be a place where you can pick up some trades and by the way if you use the TC2000 system it's really it's a really sweet thing you can go to an ETF like this click one icon get a list of everything that makes up that ETF you may want to drill down and find a stock in here uh, for a potential trade watch that closely um, also take a look at like um, um, whoops um, XLB XLB very very strong that material sector housing continues to remain quite strong XLB is another place that you may want to look for a potential trade other charts out there that are just looking um, phenomenal this YNDX I mentioned yesterday in the chart popping that alert looking higher keep a close eye on that that's looking very very good Marvel popping the alert holding up here pushing up into some resistance in the chart but continuing to stay strong Roku been mentioning Roku and there's the alert on Roku following on through really stretching to the upside very nice chart ICLN breaking through um, the alert just pushing up really really hot and hard take a look at John Deere John Deere really strong CMI Cummins continuing to show lots of strength Caterpillar um, also showing that strength to the upside so a lot of the big industrials looking very very good so there's plenty to choose from out there in these charts lots of good potential trades but just remember we're getting kind of stretched out here and that possibility not the not the you know an assurance that we're going to get a pullback but that possibility that as we push up in uh, you know really stretch out heading into the holiday that we run out a little of that momentum and a little pullback could uh, come into play so keep that in mind so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all the very very best and if you're heading out for your holiday plans um, i want to wish everyone um, safe travels be very very careful out there this covid stuff these numbers are incredible even though we're weary and tired of this stuff and i understand that please be safe out there protect yourself and protect um, you know your fellow citizens out there uh, that happen to come in contact with you it's nothing to fool with um, y'all take care be safe have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.